can only see straight parking spots. Wow, see it's not seeing these on the right side because they're they're slanted. Start. So this is it actually backing in between two cars. Right, so we have it the latest version full self-driving version 1236 which also includes for my car with USS sensors the uh, auto park update now I won't have the cool 3d visualization since I'm an Intel model 3 but we're gonna try out full self-driving version 1236 a little just short drive down in Cartersville and then we'll also go somewhere at least to probably two parking spots and try out the auto park update click like click subscribe indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch let's give this a try so we're gonna go all the way to triangle foods rock mart on full self-driving version 1236 this is my first drive on this and so let's see how it does i can say it's a very foggy day you can't really see it right now but maybe you can see all the fog over here it is very very foggy out today and at Triangle Foods, we're gonna try the new auto park feature. Now, my car is a 2018 Model 3, so it does have an Intel-based system, and it does have the USS sensors. So, we're gonna have to see exactly how this works. And I can say, let me make this turn first. Smooth as always. Uh, in my opinion, so far, this one has centered the lane a lot better um, than the last version where it seemed to just hug the left line a lot or hug the right line, but we'll have to see, uh, we'll have to see how it does. So we're going to stay with the video while we go through this little downtown area. And then once we're through this, um, I'm just going to fast forward until I get to uh, Rock Mart, essentially, when we're at Triangle Foods. I really thought it was triangular for some reason. That's just triangle. I feel kind of dumb now. So I've drove this little downtown area many, many times from Rock Mart here. Of course, turning. so far. Nobody's out walking, unfortunately. It's really early in the morning, 7.34 in the morning, <laughs> but just got this update last night, so wanted to make this video show the auto park on an Intel-based USS car and uh, get it posted today. Red light time. So this is a 20 mile drive, 28 minutes. That's, that's pretty cool. See the bicycle friend. Now, I feel like this curve up here, it's actually had issues with, so let's see if it still does. Hey, a refresh Model 3, look at that. Nice. That's only like the second one of those I've seen in the wild. And a Rivian, look at that. So, let's see. Hey, they fixed it, used to it would get into that turning lane. And it's supposed to just kind of go around this curve, so that's good. That's been fixed. I don't think it needed a blinker there, but hey, it used one. Who cares? But to me, this is improving more and more with every single drive. I drove it in Atlanta the other day on the old version. I don't know if I'll upload that video or not because now there's a new version, but it did phenomenal in Atlanta. And uh, I mean, 
mean, this is much better. Last time I was so close to that curve, I really thought my rims were gonna hit it. So to see that that's not the case anymore makes me uh, pretty happy. It does seem cautious around bikes as well. so far. I don't like it. It says we'll get to Triangle Foods at 8 a.m., so that's pretty good timing. We'll definitely get this video up by noon today. Much better on the lane centering it seems. I'll know a lot better once we get on this highway stretch because that's where it would really hug the left side sometimes but so far that seems much much improved. Which I think was my only complaint in the latest version. Besides it not seeing speed limit signs, uh, it still sees 45-55 and even uh, 70, or 70, well we don't have 75 here, but um, for some reason it does not see 65, and on the way out here, it still did not see 65 miles per hour. Don't know why, but it just, it just doesn't, so. All right, so essentially, I'm out of the little downtown area in Cartersville, and a lot of this, um, until I get down to Rock Mart, we'll just, you know, be normal highway driving, so it should do phenomenal. So, I'm just going to fast forward till I get to the construction zone. We'll see how that goes, see if maybe construction cones are showing up again, because those have not been showing up, which I think that might be like a processor thing, because the car still knows they're there and avoids them, but they're just not displayed on the screen. So uh, we'll fast forward to the construction zone and then fast forward from the construction zone until we're in downtown Rock Mart getting the triangle fits. We'll see you then. And 
I think it drives to be more cautious of the uh, construction cone areas. Now it really might freak out on me during this drive and tell me to take over because I can't see. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see. We're finally doing construction there. Glad to see. All right, well, it navigated the construction zone very smoothly, as always. This 18-wheeler is pulled to the side. Let's see what that is there. So it is kind of going over to the left a little bit, hugging the left side for this. And then I can even see it shifted back to the middle. So that's, that's a big improvement. I swear, the lane centering seems so much better on this version than the older versions. So speed it up a little bit here. And then we hit the 65 mile per hour zone right up here, which it won't see again. So <laughs> you can see kind of through the fog, there's the 65 mile per hour sign, but it does not display, it doesn't change still thinks that it should go 45. I have no idea why that is, but we're going to put it up to make it go faster. Always go about 12 over, 13 over. You can't get a ticket in Georgia for uh, going 15 or less over the speed limit. Well, you can get a ticket, but it's a $60 ticket, so it's basically just irrelevant. So let's, uh, let's see how this does through this foggy area as we make our way down to bypass for 11 miles so I'll see you in 11 miles unless something crazy pops up. done. Good. like to see that. All right. Oh, we're going to go around this one. Very nice. Also, the uh, so outside of the lane centering being better in this version, uh, the changing of lanes also seems to be a bit smoother. It seems to really, like, commit. Compared to before, it was in the last version, it's like it would go to get over, and then it would go, ah, uh, never mind. So... That seems to be better. The lane centering seems to be better. Uh, so far, really, really liking this version. And I'll be interested to see how this uh, auto park feature works. I'm wondering if I'll be able to essentially drive all the way here and click one button and be able to park. I also don't know if anybody will be in this parking lot. <laughs> uh, being that it's 8 a.m., I don't know what time Triangle Foods opens, but uh, I'm guessing somebody might be here. Let's see. Yeah, there's a few cars, but not not a lot. So, might as well go to Walmart to do the auto park video. All right, so we are turning here. Very nice. And then we will not turn there. Okay, we're going around to this turn in. Either way. So now we are in the 
the Triangle Foods parking lot. Where is it going to go? It doesn't really know. So is it going to see parking spots? 25 feet. Navigate on autopilot is ending. All right. So maybe it does not see the parking spots when you're in autopilot. You have to be actually driving for that. I can say, truly don't know, but we are at Triangle Foods, essentially, even though it, it seems to be taking us to the back. I guess this is where all the 18-wheelers uh, drop to in terms of GPS. So, navigate on autopilot ending. I'm kind of just letting it do its thing right now. We're here. We made it. <laughs> all right, so, let me uh, turn around real quick. So, now we're going to go, I think you have to be below five. Oh, look at that. So, it sees all the parking spots basically asking me which one I want to pull into um, wow now it does see that as a parking spot that's not a parking spot but that's okay so I'm gonna pick um, I'm gonna pick this middle one there's nothing there bring the vehicle to stop and I love the line that kind of shows you where it's gonna go Wow, very smooth. Phenomenal. Dang. And you can see the shadows. Um, it's just not, you know, the 3D visualization since I have the Intel. Dang. That was amazing. And it puts it in park for me. Dang. That's freaking sweet. Okay. Uh, let's go over to Ingles. Let's see if... Uh, Let's see how this works at Ingles. I'm gonna try it with some more cars around. We'll be back in a moment. So there's a spot here between a car and actually one of the buggy things. So we're gonna give that spot a try. It's this third spot here on the left. But weirdly enough, it's not even seeing these parking spots. Huh, can it only do, can it only do straight parking spots? Let's see, hold on, Let's see if it sees these. We'll go below. Yes. Interesting. So it can only see straight parking. It can only see straight parking spots. Wow. See, it's not seeing these on the right side because they're they're slanted. I did not know that. I, I had no idea that was actually a thing. Um, let's see. I think there was some spots here maybe at McDonald's as I drove by. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can back into one of these. Yeah, here's one, here's one. So let's get to below five. And yes, it sees this parking spot here. Bam. Start. So this is it actually backing in between two cars. I don't know if my GoPro just died, but wow, very, very good. I mean, that was, that was perfect. I'll be darn. And then it puts it in park for me. Well, that was freaking amazing. So did my GoPro die? Camera too hot. The camera will automatically power off to cool down. Well, darn, that stinks, but it, it did it. It, um, it parked and uh, that was pretty amazing. I can say I did not know that it could not see the slanted parking spots. That is a little bit surprising to me, but in terms of how it parked, I mean, it, it parked perfectly. I hate that I don't get the cool 3D visualizations um, because like if I throw it in drive, like I just get the regular cars, which I mean, to me looks fine. I kind of like this better than the other ones. So but either way, that is uh that was my first drive on version 12, five, six, which uh, just did a phenomenal job driving all the way here. Phenomenal job with the auto park. That will essentially do it. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.